I'm excited about this one. We're going to be talking about distributive property. This is by far my favorite property out there. I'm going to teach you a trick that I learned through the years in my math classes. I really enjoyed math when I was younger. I don't know if you guys can tell. But I had somebody teach me this with distributive property, and it's lasted forever with me. Whenever I see something like this, I'm going to see it automatically as distributive property. And I'm going to teach you guys how you would know that. But the first thing you guys would probably say is, well, order of operations, you're going to combine everything that's inside of the parentheses. And you are correct, except for the fact that there's an x here. So you'll learn later on that these are called unlike terms, because we don't know what x is. x could be a million, or x could be 1. So until we know what it is, we can't combine them. And that is why we use distributive property. I call it rocket launcher target. So I pretend like this 6 has a rocket launcher on it, and it wants to go ahead and hit the x and the 5. And when it does, it will multiply. So I go, and I actually make the noise, too, just so you can kind of get the effects. So 6 times x would give us 6x. And I'm going to load up the rocket launcher again and go, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the 5. 6 times 5, oh, wait, it's 6 times negative 5 because of this minus sign that's going to represent it as a negative. So I would go ahead and rewrite that. 6 times 5 would give us 30. So that is how it would be represented in distributive property. Now, what I'm going to show you is something a little bit different here because this is what you guys might see in class. You guys might actually see the 6 on this side. Hey, guess what? Don't let the teachers out there trick you. It's the same exact thing. You would just go, and that would be your negative 30. And you would go, and that would be your 6x. So whenever you see a number outside of a parentheses, when there's a variable and another number on the inside, remember, that's distributive property. Those teachers out there, sometimes they can try to trick you with it, but you guys are good enough to know now that you can't be fooled.